Number 35, what is the ionization constant at 25 degrees Celsius for the weak acid, CH3, NH3+, the conjugate acid of the weak base, CH3, NH2, with a KB value of 4.4 times 10 to the negative fourth. Okie dokie. So we're basically trying to find out an ionization constant for a weak acid, but it's an acid nonetheless. Anytime that you're trying to find an ionization constant, that's capital K. So ionization constant, just capital K. Now it's for the weak acid, so we can be even more specific that we're looking for a Ka value, A for acid. So this is the whole battle here. We need to find out that Ka value. And they told us what the compound was, right? We want to find the Ka value for this weak acid. But they did say that it was a conjugate acid of the weak base. And they have this Kb value. And that's the ionization constant of the base, right? B for base. So they told us that we had a Kb, right? And I'll put that down here. Kb equals... 4.4 times 10 to the negative fourth. And all K values, just like we saw in the last chapter, they have no units. So we have a KB value and we're searching for its conjugate KA. Now we're running through our head and say, is there an equation in which I can go from a KB to a KA? Yes, there is. And that equation is right here. KW equals KA times KB. We can only use this equation if these, the Ka and the Kb, so maybe I'll do this like this, right? These have to be conjugates of each other. It cannot be um, two different compounds. So you can go from one conjugate to another by just using this formula. And conjugates only differ by one hydrogen. Remember, the acid always has one hydrogen more than the base. And in this case, it does, right? There's three hydrogens at the end here, and there's only two here. So we know this value. They told us that 4.4 times 10 to the negative fourth. We're trying to solve for Ka, but the question is, what's this value? Well, Kw, the ionization constant for water, right? breaks down into H plus and OH minus, but it could be many different uh, numbers depending on the temperature. But there's only one that you should memorize, and that's the one at room temp, aka 25 degrees Celsius. So if you do see that you're at 25 degrees Celsius, the Kw is always going to be a constant value. It's 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th. So that number probably you're going to have to memorize, but that's the missing piece. Now we could just plug it all in. 1 times 10 to the negative 14th equals, um, let's see. So we're just going to say x, right, times 4.4 times 10 to the negative 4th. We know how to go about this. Solve for x. We got to just divide on both sides by the 4.4 times 10 to the negative fourth, and that's it. So this is fun, guys, because we are getting into the math of this chapter. It's coming. And remember, x was ka. So we're good with that, and now all we just got to do is calculate it. But I'm getting excited because um, math is coming up, and the math part of this chapter is the fun part. We got to get through all the concepts, but... The math is going to be fun. I just want to make sure that I didn't write anything incorrect in here. And two sig figs, if anybody cares. <laughs> two, 2.3 times 10 to the negative 11th. And no units, remember. Ka does not have any units. And that's it. There you go. Maybe I'll just, I guess, we'll do the whole thing. And that's the ionization constant. Ka, 2.3 times 10 to the negative 11th. Dunzo. Hopefully this helped. Let me know what you thought. I love hearing from you guys, and I hope you're doing great. Keep studying hard, and I will see you in later lessons. Bye-bye.